Hi, all. Nana here. And then I have solved the problem of the prices import. Actually, I, I was uh, trying for the ADFDA. Right? I was not having it, but I got one and then uh, that is uh, somewhat okay, actually. I will not show you. Uh, I, after installation, it is now working okay. somewhat better, actually, but even then it is still giving error. Actually. I will not show you. So, in the sales order import, we have one price list import there. Right? I found this installer, actually, and then double clicked and then installed it. I installed it. So, now what happens at least it is responding. But uh, the desired result is available, but not the full result. It is not giving you some error, but it doesn't matter. At least what happened, the desired results is now obtained, actually. So please install this ADFDA uh, latest installer, actually. Right? I got it for the current user. Right? So this one is one. So I have already installed it. You also install it on the prices import you have. It. So I have already downloaded this prices. Uh, prices and then the prices list one is the previous one, which is a filled up data, actually. Right? So before which, what happens, we'll go and then have a look at our prices. Right? Now go to the place. Right? So I will now go to order management, go to the order management, and then I go to the pricing administration, and then I already created our price list actually. I will now click on it. I will now query the price list, go to the manage price list, and then I will now query the price list. <laughs> so go there. I will now say price list starts on D01. Fine. So the price list is available actually. Ah, oh, God, it is not there. Okay, they might have gone up as a they normally what happens is they remove all those things you know fine because it is a frequent flush and then it has been removed so click on plus and then let me create a new prices thank you plus i'll be creating a new prices fine well, there is a d01 underscore pl underscore one fine there's the prices d01 pl underscore one i will not take all of it put on the description go there currency is us dollars and then here drop down i will not say it's the sale price and then the business unit is us one us one business unit is the one the start date is today's date I'm here today's date number. So it's okay. Sale price, everything is there. And save and edit. No, thank you. On save and edit. And then here we are going to give, if you try to approve, it will not be possible at all because we have to give the access set actually. So save and edit. <laughs> so if you try to approve, what happens? The access set is missing. And so what happens? It's not possible at all. So access set is missing. Fine. We'll now go there and then give access set as common set. Now click on it. What is access set? And then click on plus one. Then we'll now give a common set. Common set is the one. So, so give a save now and approve it. So D01 underscore PL underscore one is the price list on approve. It'll be getting approved. So in this price list, I'm going to upload all the data actually. So uh, I'm not going to add anything manually. I'm not going to import it actually. And then I clicked on actions and then click on download spreadsheet to maintain the prices data. Fine, click on it, download. I'm going to download it. I'm going to it. So it will be downloading in this place. So I will not show it to you in this place. I'm going to it. I have not downloaded it. So the one later one. So I will not first of all right click and then what happens? Go to the properties and then unblock it actually. Unblock it. And then click on apply. Okay. Okay. It now unblocked. So now what I'm going to do is I will now run it actually. If you double click on it, I will now give the username and password. Double click on it. And then I will now run it actually. <clears throat> So click on yes, no, fine. I'm going to connect. This time it is connecting, but it is now giving some issues. Uh, but okay, the header is now available. Okay, go there. ESCM 39 dot student. And then I will now give the password. Welcome one two three. And click on sign in now. <clears throat> I'm coming over there. I click on it. I will now go to the manage prices. Now I click on it. I will now go there. I will now go to the space and go there. So with this page, I'm going to find uh, it is now showing you this. So it's not going to bring in the data. It's not going to download the data. <clears throat> Downloading is coming. But it's now throwing a downloading picture is now coming. Fine. Right? An error occurred is now coming. But it doesn't matter. But the header is coming now. Header is coming properly. So it doesn't matter because that uh, ADFDA is not the latest one it looks for. Like, right? If you get the latest, uh, latest ADFDA, please pause it on to me. Fine. Click on OK now. Fine. No, no. I got the header. Fine, header is more than sufficient for us because we will not populate the lines manually. Actually, the header is available. Actually, now what I do is I go there. I will now whatever they go there. I will now open up my price list one. In price list one. So the uh, this one whatever it will not be uh, double click on it. I'm not going to open the price list one actually. <clears throat> Let me open it up. And then I will not connect it. Now. Fine, you will know. So you know again. Fine, the price is one is no open. So I will now copy from here everything onto the main one actually. So here you go there. I will not copy from this place. Right? 
So the price is what? I will not go there. I will not get the prices of mine. Price's name is what? Go there. In this place, uh, what am I talking about? D01 underscore PL underscore one. The business unit is what? Uh, we already have the business unit. Fine. Let us now go there and open the business unit. Now, fine. Right. We'll now go back on level. Uh, we'll go to this place. Now, fine. So, we'll go to this place. Yeah. PDH. Open the PDH. And then we go to the sales order import. So, we have the business unit name. Now, fine. The import details. Now, fine. Click on level. Right. I will now pick up the business unit name exactly from that place, actually. So, the business unit name is for this one. I'm going to take this and then go there. Business unit is not pasted. So item level, I'm going to drop it down. So it is item. item. And then what is the item? It is the AS65000. So component path, we will not see it from the other file actually. You now see the component path. <laughs> Nothing is there. Line type is by and then each Y. Fine. Now go there. Line type is what? By. It is each. No? It's capital E, small a. And then the primary units of measures, primary uh, pri pri pricing primary is yes, actually. You know, go there, yes. So I have filled up that sheet, so I'm now using the same thing. So now it is a sale price, now pricing charge definition, and the sale price, fine, go there, drop it down, and then choose the sale price, now fine, go there, on it. And then afterwards, the pricing period is it is the thing. Calculation method is price, actually. So calculation method is price, <clears throat> drop it down, and then choose price now. And then afterwards, the basic price, I will now say oh, 12.34. Some some prices I'm going to get. Start date, this today's date now. We are And go there, I want to start it today's date. And then afterwards, what happens? Allow manual adjustment is no, no fine. I will not make it as yes, actually. Allow manual adjustment, I will not say manually. We can do it, no fine. Yes, we can very well change the price on this, no fine. Calculation type. <clears throat> so calculation type, nothing is there, no fine. Go further, go further. <clears throat> so nothing is there. Currency is USD, fine. Afterwards, the currency entry only there. The currency and then put USD now. USD the one now and then go there. Nothing is there actually. It's not fine. Everything is okay. And then sale product type is goods actually. Sale product type is good. You may even add enrich so many values on this and then try to do it now. Like the sales product type, drop it on and make it as a goods. And then there is a key file, leave it as a key file. So now we have not completed the what happens uploading of a price now basically. Then afterwards, what happens? You copy this price. This file, no, first of all, save. No, fine. Well, no save. Control is coming. So, no save. So, afterwards, what happens? You will not copy it. And then, uh, what happens? You go there. And then, I will not paste it into multiple lines. Let us say you are going to create some 5,000 lines. No, fine. And then, afterwards, what happens? You load. What happens? Everything will be same. The item will be different. And then, the price will be different. Fine. So, that way, you will be doing it. So, uh, at the max, my students so that you don't go beyond 5,000 lines. It will be giving you a problem. No, fine. Lord. So go there. So I will now what happens to remove the remaining ones. <clears throat> right. Ready. So I'm not going to yeah, upload only one line. So we can even upload multiple lines of this. Okay. Control is coming. So the, the one I'm not name. Now what I do is I will not go there. I will not go to what? Go to the what's called priceless. Maintain priceless data on the top. No. Fine. Right. Go to the maintain priceless data. And then create. And then what happens? I go to update. No? Create or update. Okay. I will now go to the click on create and update. Right. It is not going to upgrade it. So create our update is now running now. So once when it is completed, you can now see on our prices, AS6500 will be having a price of 112.34. So it is now complete now. Fine, so uh, the status has to change. Now, thank you not coming. Uh, okay, fine. Now what happens, we'll now go to the system and then have a look at the price. So we'll now click on search again. Fine, click on search again. So the price starts in D01. <clears throat> And then I click on search, you know, fine, you're getting it. So go there. So click on the hyperlink of it. And then I will now go to the item level. Fine, go to the item level. I will now, this is a new one. Fine, there is no item at all. There is nothing at all. Only one item is there. Fine, click on search, it will be there. Click on search. Uh, the pricing unit submitted is what? Go there and then see. It's each actually. <clears throat> fine, line type is goods. Line type is buy. So out of the three, one is a mandatory one. Fine, go there, click on search. So we have imported only one item. Fine, click on search, it will be coming. So, okay, no such. so one item has come now. Fine, go that more. The buy has come, and then go down and then see the price is 12.34 with the hello manual. So it's a very easy process when compared to sales order import. What happened? The prices import is so easy. Fine. No, not nothing. And then you make an R and D on the very, very many fields, and then how to do it, and then do it. Now, fine, currently, and you go there and then click on the create or update. But uh, that uh, ADFDI, what happens? You do it now. Fine, click on it. The ADFDI. Uh, I got this. Uh, go to the say or the prices import. Fine, go that. This one I got it. So with this, it is working. And then I have uploaded this also under the prices report. Right? It is also uploaded. 
And if you get a latest one, what happens? You'll not be having any problem at all. Right. So, and then try to install it now, right? The latest, latest one, and then install it. And then afterwards, what happens? Connect it, and then it'll get coolly connected. You'll get the header now, fine. Right? Header is only required. The values we are going to manually populate. And then this file, find the other file. So price this one is the one where I have already filled and then saved it. So from there, you can now take up for, for understanding purposes, we are not using it. So with this, what happened? The price this import is now complete. <clears throat> Go there. Go there. And then we'll meet on some other video. Bye for now. <clears throat>